absolutely and unequivocally in favor of a federal standard of fiduciary duty. And uh, we're dancing around on the edges a little bit on the, with the Labor Department. They're trying to do something about it. It's already in the 1940 Act, but not the way I would like it to be in. Uh, the Investment Company Act of 1940 says mutual funds must be organized, operated, and managed in the interest of their shareholders rather than in the interest of their advisors and distributors and officers and directors. Simple statement of what fiduciary duty is all about. But they don't say, they don't have any enforcement, they don't have any teeth. And uh, all this is words in the policy section of the act. So everybody knows uh, that someone that's entrusted with the responsibility for other people's money, it's a higher level of responsibility than selling cars or diamonds or Wonder Bread or Budweiser beer or whatever it might be. They're just products. I don't like to even use the word products when talking about mutual funds. It's used everywhere in this industry. Here's a new product to sell. I don't like that. You're working for the client. You're trying to help him protect his estate uh, to ensure his retirement. Uh, you have a lot of flexibility in what you do with that, and there's a, honestly a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. And so I think anything that advances the cause of the fiduciary for regular RIAs, and registered investment advisors is a big plus. I would go much further, however. I would make it apply to all money managers. You know, mutual funds are registered investment advisors. Mutual fund managers are registered investment advisors. And this, the, the, the direction of the policy seems to be going to the advisors that are directly serving individual investors rather than mutual fund managers who are serving individual investors, but not on what we'll call a customized basis. It absolutely should apply to them. And fiduciary duty should also apply to institutional money managers of pension plans. They have the duty. And uh, the, the argument I get periodically down at the Investment Company Institute, is, nobody likes my idea, by the way. Nice to know that. <laughs> but they say, we already are fiduciaries. Well, then what's the harm in saying, you are fiduciaries? <laughs> So it's really important to focus the business on how money managers, advisors, call them what you will, serve their clients in an effort to preserve and protect and defend their assets. It should be very clear how you get paid. And there are those who would argue, I guess, that as long as that's disclosed, it's OK. But if your job is to earn a living by selling something, guess what you do? You sell something. I mean, this is not a complicated system, and uh, that should not be part of serving the, your, your clients, absolutely not.